Hey everyone, Wanderbot here, and uh, welcome back to Frost Survival. Uh, survival Simulator? Yeah, there we go. Anyway, we look like a, a corpse. Anyway, uh, so if you're wondering, A, why is this episode 1 again, and B, what happened to Old Man Dude, and C, why the hell are we here? The answer is Frost version point two came out yesterday, I think it was? Uh, maybe like a day or two ago, and I totally missed it, and so here we are, uh, starting over. I don't like starting over, especially for Fallout, but at the same time, these patches don't come often, so it's kind of one of those where it seems like a good idea. Uh, especially because we really haven't been playing Frost. We've been playing Ultra Survival, uh, Ultra I Have Crazy Infections uh, mode, and I, I figured it was, it's a good time to, to call that one quits, start over again, and get shit working. I've also sorted out my uh, DLC things, so from... Mistake in. Shit. Still broken. Or maybe it isn't. I don't know. Um, I mean, we're gonna be level 50 when we find out. I, I think I got rid of all my mod compatibility issues. I, I turned off all the DLCs. I did everything right. I don't know. Anyway, terminal. What What's this? This is the first time I've actually bothered with it, this. So we'll go with it. Anyway, here at the beginning of things, begin again. Property of your subconscious. Remember who you are. Is this going to be facial customization? Alright, uh, we're just gonna show race menu my face because that's terror. Uh, there's no way I'm gonna be customizing my face with the flashing light. Anyway, you are special. Um... I'm gonna kill my luck. We need, what is it, six intelligence? And I'm gonna throw one more into agility. I'm gonna take two off of charisma and throw there. What do you want? Endurance or strength? Or perception? Let's do strength, considering carrying stuff is awful. And we're gonna be... We're gonna be old man dude again. Uh... I, I, I'm gonna try and get it to look about the same, but I'm probably gonna miss, and it'll, it'll have to do. Uh, for Frost, we're gonna be old man dude up until I have a satisfying end, uh, to, to this playthrough, but for the time being, this should be good. Yeah, we need the intelligence for camps, which is frustrating, but whatever. Ah, old man duder. <laughs> uh, didn't mean to do that. Anyway. Alright, so what's the last one? Debug help. What's this do? Welcome to the Alpha Build of Frost. Please keep in mind that this mod is still in the very early stages of production, so there will be bugs. I hope to fix these as soon as possible. If you're experiencing camera issues on character creation, initiate body editing, then switch back to face editing, and the camera should fix itself. If it still isn't working, try putting Show Looks Menu 14.1 into the console. Okay, that's not super helpful for what we're doing. Anyway. So we have the shipwrecked path, which is what we started with the last time, which was awful. The kidnapped path, or the mercenary's path. I'm gonna lean the... let's go... let's go middle door for this one. And for the next reboot, or and or playthrough, we'll go merc path. Probably? I don't know, I'm leaning for merc path, I'm just... I'm a little bit worried. Can I save? Oh, uh, I can, I just need to give myself the save tool, give me a second. Did that work? Okay. Let's go Merc Path. It seems like it might be a bit easier. I could be wrong. I don't know. I'm hoping I'm hoping it works a little bit better. I'm also hoping I can get to a much better lit area. Uh, you know, one that doesn't isn't just dark and flashy looking, so we can actually make our face. Cause I don't wanna be just a uh, blank slate dude. That'd be weird and creepy. I don't think we have the uh, facial customization options for that. Someday, maybe. But then again, I'm not making a Dark Souls character here. Wow, that was fast. Uh, what's the ground? It is dark in here. I think this is a little bit more legit. Scrawled note. I will proc proclaim to the world the deeds of Gilgamesh. This was the man to whom all things were known. This was the king who knew the countries of the world. He was wise. He saw mysteries and new secrets things. He 
brought us a tale of the days before the flood. He went out on uh, he went on a long journey, was weary, worn out with labor. Returning, he rested. He engraved on a stone the whole story. Guess I'll take it. Okay, so bobby pin, silver locket, smiley hood, ragged leathers. Anything anything else in here that I I can immediately grab? The answer is enameled bucket. Oh, good. And it automatically lets me get out. It'd be hilarious if I accidentally broke the bobby pin. My only bobby pin trying to get out here. Anyway, Feral Ghoul has some silver on it. Oh, it's useful. Sunny Sunshine Johnny's journal, longshoreman outfit. And some drugs. I'm trying to grab the beer bottles and stuff. Looks like there's some goodies here and there. But yeah, we want as many beer bottles as we can cram into our inventory. Uh, like last time, as a as a fair warning to everybody, I do have um, I do have some things weighted differently. Specifically, scrap has no weight, uh, mainly because I'm a bit of a pack rat to begin with. And um, Janice's journal. Okay, yeah, let's let's finish that thought. So I'm a bit of a pack rat when it comes down to everything, and it's one of those where yes, I could actually deal with trucking all of my stuff around for the entirety of the playthrough, and you know, balancing it out and having a safe spot to bring all my stuff back to, but that would lead to an intense amount of inventory management that I w I don't want to deal with. We're already, we're already going to be struggling as it is, so I, I I'm just gonna I'm just gonna play it safe. And I'm gonna do what I can. So, uh, today I found a squirrel bearing nuts. He squeaked up a racket when we picked him by his uh, picked him by his tail. Two days up, the Madeline broke him. He learns quick. We caught a tortoise. It is a silly thing. It speaks only of orders and codes. Reforming him will be tough. This one's guard protocols are locked down tight. Perhaps I should just crack open the shell and make tortoise stew. Long trip to the sea. It paid off. Inside were such wonders. Chems, weapons, food. And, of course, answers. We even found a silly little snake. They say you cut its tail off. If you cut its tail off, it grows back. Perhaps we'll see. The writing is not exactly perfect. Anyway, I'm going to take that. We need that. Turn off the radio. Doesn't look like there's anything else particularly useful in here. Yeah. No light sources. Okay, let's put on. let's put on what we got. So I have lead pipe as a weapon. It's not bad. Longshoreman, shoreman's outfit. Ragged leather, smiley hood. Okay. Put that on. Let's drop the uh, tattered rags. We don't really have a use for that. I'll hold on to the ragged leathers for the time being. We've got... Yeah, we really don't have much of anything in here. Oh, that's okay. I look... I look problematic. All right. Do I have the? Um, do I have the settings hollow tapes? Uh, wait, no. That's survival quick save. That's not really what I'm looking for. Oh. Nope. That's not what we want. Uh, survival options. There we go. Now I'm gonna turn on a couple of things specifically. Um, specifically, save options. Okay. Cell change, save options, on. Uh, let's see. Change to normal saves. Current auto save. Not entirely sure. Wait, save options. Yeah, I'm just going to turn on a lot of saves. Just because this thing does have a tendency of crashing. And it's also one of those where, like, if I was playing this off YouTube, I'd probably have all of these off and just go for the full experience. But for YouTube, I really don't want to have to do things over and over and over again. That gets really boring. And, uh, nobody really wants to see see that. I mean, some people probably will. Uh, some people would probably like to see me suffer constantly. Um, but in my mind, I'd prefer to, I'd prefer to keep it off. Okay, so I think that's it. I don't really want to mess with anything else. What's cell respawn do? I don't even know. I don't even know what that means. We're not going to touch it. Anyway. So, I can't save normally, but we do have a save item that I can go up to minus. And now I can save. So, 
So we're in the underground, to some degree. It's got chem stations. It's kind of handy. Unfortunately, I can't do much of it, anything with those. Okay, we've got to stay away from those barrels. Because those barrels seem to be death. Uh, let's see. Plates, scalpels, cow skull. Interesting. Picture. Drugs. A lot of drugs. Oh, right, yeah. Uh, I should probably mention what's been added to this version. There's not much. Uh, from what I've... From what I've seen, let's see. Might as well start by making a couple of bandages. That's always useful. Uh, but they have added insanity, so killing people, um, killing people is gonna drive me insane. Uh, a lot of things are gonna drive me insane. Okay, cool. We we actually don't. Well, I don't know if we want to go to the subway line. It might not be a bad idea to look around and see. But let's let's stick with the access tunnels for at least a little while. Ah, I've been recording too much. I can I can feel it in my jaw. Okay, so we've got something further there. And I'm betting if we come up here, it'll show us exactly where the exit is. Nope, nope, straight to the subway line. Okay, so it looks like there's going to be some goodies here and there. Looks like a lot of these are subway lines. Judging by the decorations here, this side we don't want to go down. Probably cannibals, if I had if I'd warrant to guess. All right, let's try going this way. Let's let's see where where who what when where how what I don't know. And let's see, is this is this bright enough? Shit, what's the what's the button? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Let me see. Manipulation, set level character, looks menu. Balls, I have to be looking at them. Okay, this is awkward. Uh, okay, manipulation character, looks menu. Damn it. Uh, double damn it. I don't know how to. Maybe it's because of the camera? I don't know. I'll figure this out. I mean, it's not like we really see our face here. You guys know what he should look like. Maybe? Some of you, anyway. Oh. We've already found friends. I don't have a face yet. And we already found friends. How are we going to meet them? How are we going to greet them? How are we going to learn their names and their secrets and their personal issues? And I'm dead. <laughs> That's a bad time for Sneaky. Uh, combat knife is rough. Okay, this is going to... This is going to take some doing. I can already guarantee you. This is why I save. Okay, so we've got these guys over here. Oh, right. Let go. Caps lock. Okay, if I do this, we go way slower. I don't know what these all do. Let's see if we can find anything interesting in here. You think you could sleep on these benches? But yeah, fighting two survivors at once this early on is going to be rough. I don't have any armor, they do. I don't have any stats, they do. So we're just going to sc uh, scoot doodle down here and hope for the best. It's super dark. I guess I'll turn off super sneak mode. We'll go from here, see what we have. Toxic cocktail, Molotov cocktail, gas canisters. The one problem is gas canisters actually have some weight to them. So I'm probably going to want to figure out how to scrap them down at some point. Uh, looks like it might be the end of the line. 
No, not necessarily. Okay, we do have a Molotov cocktail, though. That's got some potential. Where does this bring us? Scully Station. Okay. So I'm probably going to head back. We've got a Molotov. Uh, wouldn't be a bad idea if I, I started by burning those two survivors. I might be able to fight them off with the, le uh, the lead pipe, but... I'm not entirely confident in my abilities. I'm good with quick weapons. Not so great with, uh, with the slower ones. Haven't exactly done a whole lot of melee and Fallout ever. I really should actually go back and just do, like, a regular playthrough. Just loaded to the brim with melee, melee combat. Okay. So we've been down that way. Let's see. So what do we have? Toxic cocktail, Molotov cocktail. All right, let's rethink that. That is a lot more range than I thought it did. Yeah, no, most of the time I'm not going to be going out of my way to like save scum these. But today... But today, as we learn the mechanics, the new mechanics, I think it's a viable option. All right, there's one. He's burning to death. All right, so we get stuff. We want beer bottle, crystal liquor decanter. Hell yeah, two ball. Wrench. Anything else? The answer is no. I'll take the bones. So we got cooking, and the other guy just ran. He is running from me. Oh, he's almost dead. I'm sure I do. I'm sure I do. Okay, so we get board, knuckles, hot plate. Mm. Okay, let's let's do this properly. So the one problem is weight. I only can carry 65 pounds. That's that's a hard that's a hard knock to work with. Uh, not leaning for the board. Let's take a look at the lead pipe. It's medium and fast. I don't really know what the benefits are for the lead pipe versus knuckles, apart from maybe if I wanted to go melee. Uh, you know unarmed combat type thing. Not really feeling that. So I'm probably just gonna, gonna leave them alone. Okay, so that's that one cleared. And we're that much closer to our first level up. It is dark here. Subway line requires key. Only upper blue line key will work. Damn. Also hoping I could take that lantern so we'd actually have some light. Okay, so I guess let's head for Scully Station and, and see what we can find there. The character is tired. We do have a bed that we can go back to. What I might actually end up doing is uh, going into the survival settings and... Yeah, let's do that now. Uh, we want to do miscellaneous. We want to do... No, is it junk? No, it is miscellaneous. Settings, holotapes, survival options. Sleep options. So let's set sleep multiplier. Okay, so it's currently one point... That. I want probably 1.5 or 2.0. Let's go with 1.5 and see how it goes. So the problem I have with, uh... With... Fallout's sleep... Requirements... Is very often it's like, it's weirdly prohibitive. Oh shit, there's this whole area over here. Okay. Um, it's weirdly prohibitive. Like, you you can be out for, like, six hours and your character's just like, I need to go to bed. If I only had a bobby pin. And, like, from my perspective, that's, that's butts. That's, like, super butts and I don't want to deal with it. So I'm not going to. Hello, random head. Huh. Turns out that has, like, weird collisions. Okay. Um... Like, I can kind of understand the perspective of fatigue, but it, it ties you to a bed maybe a little bit too much for my tastes. And I'd prefer to be, I'd prefer to actually have some time uh, to go around. I'm not going to, like, turn it off entirely, but I would prefer to have it be at least a little bit more forgiving. I'm liking this so far. It's not the, uh, it's not the weird flailing that I used to have. Okay. 
So let's see what we're up against. Let's see one survivor. You know what? Actually, inventory. Uh, weapons. Go combat knife. Lead pipe's got some potential, but still. Okay, so we've got a random dude. I'm gonna wait until he offers his back to me. Who's there? Oh, never mind. I've been found. Find you. Okay, there's a bunch of them. Okay, come on. Wow. Okay, turns out blocking with the combat knife not so not so hot. Well, we do have the Molotov. Who's out there? That's like five people. gonna be rough. Can I do it? I don't know. If I... Nothing there now. What do you think? I don't know. Jump in the shadows. Yeah, you're probably right. You gotta be an end of this someday. Gotta cut down on the Jedi next time. Now don't now, start talking crazy. Gotta do what I got. Wait, here we go. We actually have something for this. There they go. I was wondering for a moment what I could do. When you turn up, you're dead. Turns out fire works pretty well. They're surprisingly not dead for getting molotoved. <sighs> that sucks. I was hoping I could actually take them out as a group. Dead, huh? You should be. No dice. Yeah, they're looking hurt, but they're not looking dead. Okay. Anyway, we're walking. This is going to take some effort. Yeah. And yeah, the problem is I'm a filthy level one survivor, so that's going to make this really rough. We might have to find a different way around because I don't know if this is going to work. Yeah, we'll have to come back later. I wonder if they'll heal. That might might have been a bit of a waste of a Molotov. So we'll, we'll probably get more, and if we don't, we don't. I don't know. Kind of miss my old man dude setup, uh, my previous character. I might actually be able to reload back to him and bring him in here. Uh, okay, right. That didn't work. We have to go back to the beginning. I don't have any food. So I guess we'll go back out the way we came and hope hope maybe we can find something. Ooh, tin cans. Tin cans are useful. Yeah, so let's go back to the access tunnels and let's go up. Maybe there's something a little bit more, I don't know, accessible there? Because, yeah, I can fight maybe one or two people. Especially, let's switch back to the lead pipe. It probably has a better block than the uh, the knife does. But I have no I have no way of knowing. But yeah, we want to secure at least, like, a level or two before I go too far. Just because, um... We're kind of flimsy weak and going to die. Pretty much to everything. Okay, so we're undetected. This looks maybe a little bit more legit. I'm gonna go out on a limb. And wager there's ghouls on the other side of that. That's really dark. Let's leave let's leave the darkness alone. At least for the time being. Unfortunately, all of this all of this place sucks. Fragmine. Ooh. Okay. That might give us what we need. That might 100% give us what we need. 
Okay, let's see if I can pick up the feral ghoul and move it out of the way. Thank you. Prefer not to blow myself up here. Okay, yeah. Problem is, seems like this might be a little bit dark for what I'm trying to do. Downtown, master, shoot. Okay, so we lucked out in one way. And... Still gonna make this harder. Okay, so we've got, we've got a landmine. We've got uh, a locked door, presumably filled with angry ghouls, and a dark corridor that I don't... I don't have the confidence to go down. Where does this bring us? Yeah, that's back to the access tunnels. However, having a landmine gives us some extra potential that we didn't have before. So I'll take it. I'm just gonna fight as dirty as I possibly can for the time being. Uh, this is the way we were going, right? Yes. Because, yeah, there's no way I can get past those those five survivors with regular melee combat. Not as I am. I have too little HP, and they do too much damage. How much HP do I even have? It says I have 100, but... I find that a hard, hard thing to believe, but on, honestly, it's kind of weird and arbitrary, because it doesn't even matter. Check the map. Is there even a map for this area? No, nah, there's not. Yeah. I was wondering about that, but yeah, there wouldn't be a there wouldn't be a map for for this because it's uh it's modded in. I wonder if you could actually, if you could actually generate a map for these things, because if that was possible, that'd actually be really nice. Anyway, so these guys shouldn't have healed up. If they have healed up, then we're in travel. And they shouldn't be searching around. Okay, so I've got several frag mines that do stupid amounts of damage. That's encouraging. Yeah, they're pretty hurt. I'm really disappointed you can't you can't do anything that's unfortunate I killed one maybe two of them A coward lives. Oh, I killed... I killed three of them. Okay, and one of them has a gun. Which means... Oh, maybe only killed two of them. I'm not entirely sure. Either way, I'm gonna hide back here for the time being. Let's see. Come on. Maybe we need to get it into that guard tower. I'm not entirely sure. I want his ammo. Stop shooting. I I should have I should have put one up into that guard tower because they seem to be going for it. Unfortunately, there's not much I can do. I was hoping they'd give chase. Okay, just come just come search. Just come search. All I need is you to search. Worst comes to worst, the next one blows up. Okay, a couple of things need to happen here. One, they need to give up, think I'm gone, which wouldn't make any sense. Come on. Or ne you. they need to... All they need to do is go down those stairs. But if this doesn't work, then I'm just going to throw the... Uh, uh, go back, recollect my mine, and... Um, uh, you know, collect my mine again, and throw it in that little guard tower. Because I can probably fight one guy. Yeah, you will. We could also try leaving the area and coming back. But I didn't want them to venture too far. Yeah, let's just get out of here. That should cut the, um... That should cut their... 
their detection radius. Well, oh no, they're still searching for me. Where's my landmine? That's exactly what I was hoping for. That should be all of them. Let me see. Yeah, I think that was all of them. Alright. Well, massacre. So we don't need that. We do need these, though. Alright. Baseball bat. Antiseptic. Tire iron. Nuka Cola machines. Got some goodies. Welcome goodies. Jim Kennedy's journal. We should probably read these. More antiseptic. Cage armor. I think cage armor might be better. Okay, so we want to do apparel. Cage armor, definitely better. Goodbye longshoresman, goodbye that. Hello road goggles, hello surgical skull. Okay. Well, I'm not going to die here, so that's good. Wrench. Question. Baseball bat for his lead pipe. It's slow, though. That's the... That's the problem. Well, we'll probably live. Okay, let's, let's go back to this guy. He's got a cedar baseball bat versus a regular baseball bat, which does more damage. It's the same, it's just... a visual distinction, I guess. Well, let's go with the, uh, let's go with the cedar baseball bat, probably. Eh, not a big fan, but still. Okay, and this guy has a pipe bolt-action rifle. I don't actually know if we get the ammo from it. Oh, it doesn't look like I have the ammo for it. Anyway, I guess we might as well loot this place for all it's worth. Let's see, we've got this, Nuka-Cola bottle, Nuka-Cola machine's got nothing in it. Tons of barrels down here. I wonder if there's a goodie or two to be seen. If there is, I'm not seeing it. This is really well designed, though. I'll give them that. Like, this is this is cool. Is that a landmine down there? No, that's not a landmine down there. That was worth a check. Glowing fungus, glowing fungus. We need that. At some point, I need to find a good spot to set up a settlement. Uh, I mean, honestly, if I can get up to maybe Hangman's Alley? I'm not entirely sure. The castle had some, um, has some potential as well. I'll have to think about it. Yeah, I killed everybody, didn't I? Eh. Yeah, so this, uh, this version of Frost has a, uh... Ooh, hi. Can't get in, I want to. You'd think you could get the key for it off of one of these guys. Um... Let me see. Yeah, there's nobody in here yet. It's a good sign. Um, shoot. But yeah, uh, this mod adds insanity to the mix. Uh, which is risky, in my opinion. Carrying too much. Oh, it's probably too much. Uh, too much booze. Rough gas mask. Yeah. We'll need it. Okay, I'm still overburdened. What can I get rid of? Honestly, let's get rid of the lead pipe. Baseball bat and combat knife should be good. Combat knife will be great against certain things. Wow. I actually have a lot of things. Probably what's weighing me down is all the booze. Yeah, it's looking like it. Well, I'll live with it for the time being. Let's, let's keep looking for for goodies. Hopefully these guys have like a bedroom set up somewhere that I can I can take. This might actually also get me out to the surface. Which could be nice in and of itself. Okay. So there's two guys up here that have no idea. That I just murdered all of their friends. Who's there? Okay. 
Yeah, I was a little bit slow in the uptake there. They're directly next to each other, so assuming I don't get caught this time around, where... Where are we? Okay. We're here. Shit's got ambush all over it. There's one of them. Ugh, shit, but not the guy with the gun. Okay. Okay, club him in the face. Club him in the face. Club him in the face. Shit. <sighs> okay. Yeah, this is why I don't like the baseball bat cuz it's it's slow. I can't I can't stun lock people like I can with a knife. All right, inventory. Could switch to the snub nose, but I think I can rush him. You were so dead. Damn it. Oh, this is before I killed the one guy. Okay. What? What? The fuck? Oh, this is stupid. I'm not gonna survive this. At least I've got some armor now, so I can survive like a baseball bat to the face. Um, but he managed to completely sprint by my landmine. <sighs> Which is kind of wildly inconvenient. They're probably not going to follow me. Not down here. Back it in, boy. Nothing out there. Let's see, they've lost me. Ooh, another beer bottle. Always got to go for those. Wait. Oh, just him. Yeah, I'm not seeing too much else. So now that, now that they've forgotten about me, why do I have Opera Internet Browser? I've got my uh, task manager open. We got both guys there. I really want to lure down the baseball bat man. Perhaps both. The problem is they don't. Cut the shit. Who is that? They don't follow me particularly well. Makes this a bit harder. Okay, so I've been found. Question is Okay. That's one. No, it's two. We got it. All right. Uh, so we got we get all of his ammo, and we get all of his ammo. The only problem is we're completely out of landmines now. You know, for all that I've succeeded at so far, I'm gonna call that close enough. Okay. So let's see. Nuka Cola machine, desk fan, some money. I'm not even sure where where to spend money in this. Well, at some point, when we when we get to the point where I can spend money, I'm probably going to be fairly loaded with goodies and otherwise. Okay, nope, not seeing much much around here. Anything in here? Anything? Nope. We already checked that one. Okay, let's check the bathrooms. Specifically, there's soap. Take the soap. I don't really care about those. Yeah, I'd like to find a brain fungus and a magazine. Nice. Live and love. Companions permanently game. That's kind of useless. I think. I don't think we get companions in uh, in this version. So these guys don't have a bedroom here. Where does this bring us? Scully Square. Good to know. Let's 
What's the button? Is it like TFC or something? Toggle free cam? I think it is. We might want a TFC. Oh, they got a farm down here. Presumably. I mean, they've got some defenses. So maybe it's not as great as you think. I mean, I actually have half a mind to actually... I don't know. I mean, the, this glowing fungus crop is kind of incredible for me. Is that all of it? No, can't be. Yeah, it is. Okay. Yeah, this glowing fungus crop means I can feed myself for at least a little while. I don't remember if I'm hungry or not. But it hurts me. Okay. Hmm. As a prabble. Okay, so I am a fair bit over the weight limit, too. Crap. Okay. How do we deal with this? Uh, jet sucks. Med X sucks. We've got. Three pounds of that. What about apparel? No. Weapons. Let's get rid of the baseball bat. That helps. Yeah. Looks like my best bet is... Yeah, brain fungus hurts me too. Does get rid of rads though. On its own. Oh, but it hurts my sanity stat. What about glowing fungus? Does not. Fungal moonshine. Yeah, minus one sanity. So drinking does improve our sanity, but it will make us insane slowly. Alright. Well, honestly, let's get rid of some of the drinks. At least for a short second. What I'm going to do is... Uh, I'm not going to be coming back here often. I mean, it could. I could try and set up a conquest mod and see if I can, uh, see if I can actually adjust this place. And use it well. Anyway, let's use the cigarette machine as a go-to for the time being. Uh, let's drop off probably like five of the glowing fungus. Oh wait, crap. I'll put five of the glowing fungus. That that lightens our day. These, day tripper, jet, med X. Yeah, so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna load this place up with all of the goodies that I don't have any current use for. And eventually we'll find a permanent base and we'll come back for all this stuff. Isn't there like one more? Fairly certain I dropped like one more bottle than just all that, but I guess not. It does look... Oh my god, it keeps going. I thought we were... I thought we were done, but yeah, this place is loaded with glowing fungus. That looks worrisome. This all looks kind of worrisome. Maybe? I don't know. It looks like we can actually do some stuff with this, though. Like, this this place is pretty good. Traders, welcome ahead. Yeah, so what we can, what we can probably do is just come back here with some level of regularity. Um... We're going to need more acid, but this this will solve our uh, radiation problems, at the very least. We just need to find some glowing fungus in the same vein. Either that or or purposefully plant, uh, plant some ourselves using the camping mod, which I think I can do. Because that, that actually could work out great. I'm not entirely sure. Either way, I guess our next step is either to go down that tunnel or to go out into the square. I do have a gas mask, so we can go outside. I should probably clear out the rest of my inventory, though. Well, I guess I'll do that off camera. So I'll see you guys in the next episode of, uh, I guess, the reboot of Frost. And as always, thanks for watching.